Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show, introduce you to a very powerful tool when it comes to chess analysis. It's called removing a default chess engine. And uh, I'm going to use, for example, two of the most popular sites where the engine is a default choice while watching a chess game online. So the first one I'll demonstrate is chessbomb.com. Uh, usually I reach this site by pressing chessbomb on the Google search uh, on Google Chrome and then I reach the site. Then on the home page I can press enter here. Let's press a random tournament. For example, Kassen Karyakin and now uh, game eight. So as you can see, I'm watching the game. Normally on the right, you can see the moves. Press the right arrow to move. I can see the blunders in different colors, which is kind of uh, distracting in my opinion, because I would like to figure it out on my own. And more on this topic in the future. But um, let's see. I see the engine here on the bottom left. So how do I remove this default engine? I'm not uh, sure if it's possible to do it from the actual screen. I spent like 10 minutes uh, doing it, trying to do it at least, and then uh, I gave up and I wrote uh, on Facebook and uh, credit goes to Edward Hakatrian. Uh, sorry if I mispronounce it for uh, in shedding light on the topic. And uh, now uh, he told me to use Adblock. So I, you can download Adblock Plus or any other form of, uh, of ad blocking software. And uh, then I press right click. And as you can see, I have different options. I will press block and add on this page. And now I can choose whatever, whichever ad I want. And it doesn't really have to be an advertisement. It can be anything on the page. So I'm choosing the analysis button over here and now as you can see it's not yet removed and i have this bar over here where i can change it to a different uh, choices and of course one of them is usually the the result that uh, i wish to achieve in this case it's this one of course i don't want to get rid of the board and everything in this on the screen and then i press looks good block it and voila I have no engine. Unfortunately, I have the colors still, but uh, at least uh, I got this part uh, right. So if anyone wants to watch on Chess Bomb, I highly recommend doing it. And even if you don't uh, end up uh, removing the engine, at least you, now you have a choice. And uh, I think it's very important to have this choice uh, whether or not to turn on the engine. And uh, Kasparov once said, I believe, that uh, one of the most difficult things with the engine is to know when to turn it off and when to turn it on. So I recommend turning it off as much as possible and uh, use our own brain. And now let's go to Chess24 as our second example. So now on Chess24, while watching the same game, and there are three different uh, things that can be very distracting and uh, engine uh, concerned. So one of them is the this bar on the left, which shows the evaluation. So for example, when black is winning, you can see that it goes in black's favor. When white is better, you can see that it's in white favor a little bit. And it can be very distracting because I some information is better uh, kept uh, unshared with the viewer because uh, obviously uh, we would like to use our own brain and improve and not only entertain ourselves with the game and um, another annoying part is of course as you can see the numbers over here next to each move if you like the engine evaluations of course you can keep it but having a choice is what matters in my opinion then on the bottom of course you can see the evaluation and the exact line you can even make moves and uh, and just uh, see what the engine says and analyze but i would like not to have an engine on the side so i press this burger looking button 
and then out of the many options I press the computer analysis option and as you can see voila no more engine related uh, information and um, I want to end this short video with uh, another informative quote from Boris Gelfand's book Dynamic Decision Making in Chess probably I zoomed in a little bit too much on my face but uh, I hope you can see so page number 31 let me just open it and uh, it's a quote I really like there are many quotes that uh, that I wrote down from this book but one that uh, that I really like is going as follows it can be difficult to work out where you switch off the engine on the website and it can be tempting to turn it on when the game becomes complicated but life has always been full of shortcuts to nowhere and it has always been clear that this is exactly where they lead so i hope that uh, as a result of this video you'll turn off the engine much more often and if not at least you'll think about the topic and uh, become more aware of it i think that with great power comes great responsibility and uh, that's another quote by the way by benjamin franklin i believe and uh, this engine is an amazing tool to which is extremely powerful but we have to use it with caution because it can completely um, let's call it just distract us from from thinking just completely kill the thinking uh, that that occurs naturally when we don't understand something and uh, I'll, I'll say another quote on the topic that computers are useless they can only provide answers uh, some philosopher said it but uh, once again I don't remember where the quote comes from so feel free to mention it in the comments or any other sites in case you don't know how to turn off the engine and uh, I would love to challenge myself to assist the community by showing everyone how to turn off an engine on each site on the web and uh, I hope you learned something from this uh, uh, extraordinarily informative video and uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next videos.